West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel Tranquil Stitches. Today is Sunday, July 22nd, 2018 and this is my Floss Tube episode 16. If you're a new subscriber, welcome and if you're returning, welcome back. So glad to have you stop by and spend a little time with me today. I really appreciate it and we've had a beautiful week here in West Virginia. Summer has finally straightened itself out. This is an, uh, we've had a week of typical summer West Virginia weather and I am, I am ecstatic. I hope it lasts. I hope it sticks around. We've had some hot days. We've had some mild days. We've had cool mornings, cool evenings. We've had some rain, thunderstorms. It's actually raining out there today. So it's a little overcast and I put an, a, an additional light in here. It's causing some shadows, but, um, I, I thought maybe we might need a little extra light today because it's it's quite overcast out there. And it's it's just been a beautiful week weather-wise. I've had um, just really enjoyed it. I've been able to open my door and sit and stitch in the evenings and, and have the breeze come in and, and uh, it's not stifling hot. I've, I do have the fan on, but I've got it way, way over there and set on low. So it's not so bad <laughs> today. And uh, I hope the... the noise isn't isn't too much but uh, welcome I'm so glad you're here uh, Penny Bella and I walked to the post office uh, um, well every day this week post office is about a half a mile up the road and it's a little two-lane country road and so uh, one day we were walking and uh, I'm going to tell you this funny story about her we were walking and up ahead I saw on the side of the road um, there was a snake, and you know, it, there's snakes here. You know, I live on the creek, and, and there's just snakes here, and it's just something that we live with. And um, so I saw this snake, and I, I watched it for a few seconds to make sure that it it wasn't moving, and it wasn't. And um, so I knew that, you know, it it, um, it was dead, and I, I, the closer I got to it, I noticed that it had been laying there for quite a while. It had been, um, it had been there for quite a while. I feel like if I had picked it up, it would have stood straight up. It was dry and brittle and had just been laying there. But the damage to the snake was on the back half. So the, um, it had been run over apparently. It was only probably about that long. So it wasn't an old, older, you know, it was just, just a young snake. And, and the, so the front of it forward was perfectly intact, but just like, dried in the sun. It had been there for a while. So, you know, its head looked perfectly normal. So, it, you know, most times if people kill snakes around here, they, you know, the head's what goes, but this one still had its head in it. So I knew that, you know, it had been run over. So I was, I was interested to see what Penny was going to do about that snake. So I, I watched her. We got closer and closer, and she didn't pay attention to that snake. She she literally walked on it. She walked across it and just went on. So I thought, well, okay. So on the way back, the snake must have been upwind because she got a sniff of that snake. She went straight to that snake, and I stood there and let her let her investigate, you know, to see what she was going to do. She sniffed that snake from stem to stern. She, she was very interested in that snake, and she spent a good deal of time there um, <coughs> sniffing it, and, and uh, when she decided that she had gathered all the intel about that snake she could, what does she do? She squats and pees on it. You know, boy dogs pee on every blade of grass from where they are to where they're going. I mean, that's just what boy dogs do. This little girl, and it reminded me of this meme. She reminded me of this meme. I just stood there and laughed. It was hysterical. <clears throat> she couldn't play with it. She couldn't eat it. So she just peed on it and walked away. <laughs> I have never, that was, I, I laughed all the way down the road. She, she, that was just so funny. That was so funny. So, yeah, it, it's, she is something else. Um, also, you know, there are very few things, well, there are a few things, let me rephrase, that I look forward to every year that are very seasonal. I look forward to pickled eggs at Easter. Love pickled eggs. I look forward to 
eggnog at Christmas. And I look forward to fried green tomatoes in the summer. And this week, I got them. Look at these beauties. My neighbor grows a small garden, and she's been sharing cucumbers with us. She'll put them in a bag and hang them on the fence, and then she'll message me and tell me there's you know, something on the fence. She told me tomatoes on the fence, green tomatoes on the fence. I couldn't get out there fast enough. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I brought those things in, and I sliced them up and fried them up that evening. Oh, my gosh, that first bite, that first bite is like heaven, heaven. So I got first fried green tomatoes this past week. Looking forward to many, many more. <laughs> I know they're not good for you. Probably, well, I, you know, <coughs> there's some things that you just have to, go for, you know, and, and face it, honey, I'm older and I've got more insurance. <laughs> if you don't know, that's a quote from the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, but yeah, love Fried Green Tomatoes. So, we've had a good week and I'm recording today because we've, I've got errands I need to run tomorrow, so I won't, I won't be around, but I um, um, wanted to go ahead and get this uh, recorded and put out there so that um, I can move on with my week. And I have a quick shout out this week. I found this lady who I have absolutely enjoyed visiting with. She has two floss tubes out there and I shared her channel with Diana and we both have watched her and, and we both just absolutely adore her. Her name is Diana Zaslow and her channel is Dee's Delights Stitcher. She has been stitching for 26 years, she said, and she, um, she is just the sweetest lady. She's, um, she, the things that she shows are very interesting. She has beautiful stitching. She's, she's um, showed us some things that she's completed over the years, and um, she's, she's nervous, and, um, but she just does a beautiful job with her, with her floss tube. And I'm looking forward to to see what else she brings to the community because I, I really enjoyed. She records on her lanai in, um, in her home in Florida. And uh, she's actually from, I think, Connecticut. And she, she's just a beautiful lady. So go check out and visit um, Diana. Uh, I will link her below so that all you have to do is click on her link and it'll take you right to her. So go visit her and show her some, some love. I've made an executive decision you know, I, I said with uh, my phone with Floss Tube, I really wasn't sure what my channel would be known for. And a few people have told me probably the slideshows at the end, but um, I think Tranquil Stitches needs a mascot. What do y'all think? I think we need a mascot. I got some wall space right here. So, guess what? I have adopted a Tranquil Stitches mascot. You want to meet him? <laughs> this is our Tranquil Stitches mascot. You know, we meet once a week, and we we are like a club. And if you're part of this channel, you know we're we're all a family, and we just we just need we just need a mascot. So he needs a name, doesn't he? He needs a name. So, you all are, you know, without you, I'd be sitting here talking to myself. So, I want you all to name him. I've, I've narrowed it down to five possibilities. And each five, all five of these names, I actually know somebody with, <laughs> with, with these names. So, um, you know, he just needs a, a proper down-home, southern West Virginia, back-in-the-holler, good old boy name. So I've narrowed it down to five choices, and I want you to vote on which one you think, <laughs> which one you like, and say the names out loud, and then see which one you think has the best ring to it. And then in the comments below, put put uh, put 
what name you vote for. I'll, I'll put the list of the five names uh, down below so you don't have to remember them. Um, but <laughs> okay, number one, Bud. Number two, Chester. Number three is Cletus. Does it look like Cletus? Number four is Earl. And number five is Roscoe. So Bud, Chester, Cletus, Earl, or Roscoe. <laughs> Put your vote below. I will tally them all up, and then next week we will name him and give you something else to look at every week. <laughs> And he'll be joining us on our our uh, weekly Floss Tube episodes. So, name the mascot. That's something fun, you know. Favorite finds. When I was a little girl, coming to this house, you know, I, li I live in my grandmother's house. Coming to this house, I, there's a few things that I remember. I remember how it smelled. And I remember... It still has a little bit of that smell, even though we painted and, and took down all the paneling and painted all the walls, and there's still a little bit of it here. It's not as prevalent as it used to be, but it, it, it it's still got a little bit of, of her here. But in the kitchen, she had soffits built all around her upper cabinets, and along those soffits were copper jello molds. She had them all the way around her kitchen. And I just remember those, and I, I, told, um, I told her that if she ever decided to get rid of those, that I'd like to have them. Well, after she died, I was talking to my sister, because my, I, w I was living off from here when she died, and my sister was here, and she visited and took care of, she really took care of my grandmother. But uh, I asked my sister, I said, where are those copper molds that she had hanging in the kitchen? And she said, oh, she gave those to me a couple years ago, and um, they were in my house fire. And that just broke my heart. That just broke my heart because I really, <laughs> there, you know, that was one thing of my grandmother's that I really wanted. And, I mean, I wouldn't have taken all of them. I just wanted a, a few of them. Well, it was probably a few months after that. And she messages me, and she says, Cheryl, she said, I found um, a few of those molds if you want them. She said, I, I didn't realize that um, I had them in a, in a different place. And um, she said, so I have them if, if you want them. And I was tickled to death. So I went and got these molds, and I've, I've got them hanging in my kitchen. We've not remodeled the kitchen yet. We're going to get started on that soon, but, and the soffits are coming out. But these will go, they're on my wall now, and they will go on my wall when my kitchen is finished. Um, but I, I just absolutely adore these. This is the first one. The rooster. And see, they're just molds. And then I have this one. The fruit basket. And then I have this one. This one's my favorite. Rooster. She had a lobster. Uh, oh, there were several others. I have I have them packed away, but I remember the lobster. And then I'll be darned. When I walked into the house that we bought, when I walked into that kitchen, it was like walking into my grandmother's kitchen. It was unbelievable, the deja vu. She had the same cat she's got she had the same cabinets, the same soffits. It was just configured a little bit differently. She had the sa the same um, printed paneling on the walls, halfway down and then paneling on the rest of the way. So, I mean, it was just, and I'll be darned, along her soffit, she has she has those copper molds. So I haven't gotten them down yet. They're still up there, and I'm not really sure. She had some different ones that, that uh, from, my, from what my grandmother had. So um, I'm 
I'm excited to get those down and get them cleaned up and see exactly what I have. But I, I just love these copper molds. And then my niece at a yard sale found these. And I told her, I said, if you ever decide you don't want those anymore, please give them to me. And she did. She used them for a few months and then she, she passed them on to me. And I adore these. I think somebody has had something put, like, attached to these, apparently. But the patina is just beautiful. And I, I love them. I love them. These, are, these will go on my wall as well. But, yeah. So just, just love, love that kitchen stuff. Love that kitchen stuff. So that's my favorite finds for the week. Let's get on to some stitching, shall we? I have a couple, well, a previous finish to show you with the um, Christmas in July theme. I stitched this one back in, I'm pretty sure, 2002 because I remember working on it when Mom was in the hospital. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what the pattern is. I think it was from a magazine, but it's a snow globe. I love snow globes. I don't have many snow globes anymore because eventually the water evaporates and then you're, you know, they, they ruin. I've, I've never had one that's lasted any length of time. But I, I love this one. It's got some um, metallics in it and it's sparkly. Uh, and I remember working on that when she was in the hospital. I had it at her bedside working on it. So it was probably 2002, 2003. So I love that one. And then I was at Goodwill. Um, a few years back, and I found something that I rescued. Um, Save the stitches. I rescued this, and it, it was actually on a cube, and I didn't like the cube, so I took it off. And I, I'm, I'm planning to do something with it, but this is just really pretty. And I think I gave a dollar for it on the cube. Isn't that pretty? It's also got metallics in it. It's got uh, gold metallics. I don't know if they're if you can see them on the bells, sparkle. And it says MG 2011. So whoever you are, MG, <laughs> you did a beautiful, beautiful job with this piece and it's in safe hands. I'm gonna be, it'd make a pretty bell pull, wouldn't it? Bell, get it? Bell pull. <laughs> so, very pretty. I was, I was thrilled to find that. It didn't need to be in Goodwill. It needed to be with someone who could appreciate it. So I have an FO this week. I finished Season of Growth. Little House Needleworks. Mania Start number four. Done, I think. Union Forever, Liberty, Trolley. Yeah, Mania Start number four. There she is. Love, love, love those blues. I put some beads, some blue beads in flowers. I like adding beads, you know? It just gives it a little bit of extra. I'm not very extra, <laughs> but sometimes I like to be extra. But I love the way this turned out. I know I'm going. I know how I'm going to finish it. So hopefully next week I'll have an FFO with this one because I'd like to get it out and use it at least for one month. So that's my finish for this week, and I have an um, a whip that I've worked on. I picked up Winter Knocker by Bent Creek. This is the one that. <clears throat> is a little um, distressed. You know, I just noticed this week this sticker that says it was, a, it was a model. So this probably went with the model and that's how it got kind of torn up. So I started working on that and I got the tree done. Check out that tree. Isn't that beautiful? So this is going to stitch up really quick. I am, um, I'm not putting the top and bottom border on it. I'm just going to do the words. 
And so really I've got the words which go very quickly and some snowflakes. I'll probably do a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of blue metallics, and then his scarf and his face. And that, that, that'll be another mania start gone. So it's maybe, maybe, maybe next week. So that's my whip for the week. And I have a new start and a finish. And it's an FFO that I wanted to share with you. As I think you'll really like it. Okay. Do you know what this is? This is called a QR code. I'm sure plenty, you know, several of you know what this is, but if you don't, it's called a QR code. And I know you've seen these. You've seen these on product packaging. There is an app, a QR code reader, that you can download on your phone. And when you scan this code into your phone through that app, it usually takes you to a website that you can see to um, get more information about that product. This is, you know, what they're used for. So whenever you see one of these, you can scan it on your phone and it will give you more information about what you're looking at. So it's just, just a kind of a, a way to embed information, uh, you know, to pass along. And not only websites, but you can, um, there's also text in these. If there are QR code generators on, um, if, if you search Google, you can generate your own QR code. And you can put, what the neatest thing, you can put anything in these that you want. Any text that you want. <clears throat> A few years ago, um, these were going around and someone had the idea to stitch these. And neatest, neatest thing, you can, <coughs> Grid these, and I've gridded. I've gridded this one to show you. I've stitched so many of them. I really don't need to grid them. I can just stitch them from the, from this. But you know, if you've not stitched one before, and they're twenty-one by twenty-one, and I one year, I made my three kids. A QR code keychain for Christmas. Isn't that the neatest thing? You literally stitch that. You you generate your QR your QR code, and then you can grid it like that and stitch it. And once you stitch it, you can use that QR code reader on your phone. And you can read it. It's the coolest thing. I made my three kids one of these for Christmas one year for their stockings. <clears throat> and I, I put them in these little acrylic keychains. And on one side, I had a QR code that had their name. And the other side, I chose a quote or something that I knew they would like. And I put it in the QR code on the other side. I don't remember what I did for my middle son or my daughter. And I asked them, and they don't remember either. But they, they said they both have them. I don't know. But I do remember what I put in my oldest son's um, keychain. We're, we're a family of nerds. We're gamers. We, we, we're nerdy. We, all of us are. <laughs> we're, we're not jocks. We're nerds. <clears throat> and so um, we all, we love Star Trek. And I'm a, I'm a Trekkie. I've been a Trekkie for years and years. And um, my oldest son adores Star Trek. He's watched, binge watched several of them. You know, all, all the seasons of all the different Star Treks, including Deep Space Nine, which I'm still on the fence about that even being Star Trek. But anyway, he loves Star Trek. <clears throat> so, uh, in his... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I've got something going on today. In his QR code, <clears throat> I put Live Long and Prosper. So that's what his said. And it had his name on the back. So... 
these are just something really fun that you can share your stitching with with somebody you don't have to put them in keychains you can stitch them and put them in a little frame um <clears throat> i use dmc 310 i don't i've not done one in another color i don't know if the readers read another color i would hate to do all that stitching and then scan it and it not work <laughs> you know <laughs> so i just use black to be safe so and they, they stitch up really quick they're 21 by 21 and um, 18 count Ada fits perfectly in one of these keychains. So that's you know, and it's it's a it's a little fun thing that you can share, and it's and it's uh, you can make it very personal. The more information you put in there, the more you type, like the more text that you put in there, the more detailed this is going to be. You know, those little blocks will break up, and you know, and there'll be more. Um, there'll be more information on them. I'm going to hold this up. If you want to download that QR reader, it takes two seconds on your phone. I'm going to hold this up up here. And I'm hoping you can scan that and see what it says. That's one side. And then there's the other side. I'm not putting it in the middle because I think the play button is right here if you pause it. So that's the other side. So let me know if you are able to scan those. I'm going to try it before I post the video to see. So that being said, um, I ordered these keychains years ago for an exchange that we did on the message board that I was administrator of um, Tranquil Stitches. And I ordered a bunch of them for the girls so that they could, and I sent them all out and they stitched them for each other and we did an exchange. So I have some of these left. And this is what they are. They're little kits. And they come with the instructions and the floss and there's some black in here but I just used my own and then this little acrylic keychain and you pop pop one side of it off it's it's a little involved to get it off you have to use a screw, little screwdriver or you know PSA <clears throat> don't use your scissor points because <laughs> that doesn't end well <coughs> trust me but it comes with this little printed snowman that you stitch over, toss, and then you get this little um, cardboard insert. And I put this in between my two QR codes so that they don't show, you know, you can't see through them from one side to the other. And then you just put your little you cut your little QR code that you've stitched and you pop it in there and you've got a little keychain. So, I have um, three of these that I'd like to share with three of you. And if you're interested in um, a keychain so that you can stitch your own QR codes, um, just put in your comment who do you think you would stitch it for and what do you think you would put in it? You know, don't say giveaway, don't, um, you know, be um, the standard, you know, be 18 so you can give me your address so I can ship them to you and um, then I will draw out three winners next week for these little kits so that you can make your own. Now remember, you don't have to make a keychain. You can still stitch a QR code. Just go to, you know, I will put a link below to the generator. I'll put a link below to the QR code generator. So you can follow that to make your QR code. And you can print it out and then, you know, grid it if you have to. And, and I can tell you, be very careful as you're stitching these. Be very careful because if you leave out one of these little squares, you're, you're, it's not going to read properly. So if highlight it if you have to, you know, um, just be sure that you, you know, stitch every little thing where it's at. And 
um, print it out, stitch it, and then um, download the reader on your phone, and and it's really cool. So I wanted to share that with you. It's it's uh, something different and something fun that you can do with your cross stitch. So that's that. Um, last week I rehung three charts, and what I did was I just took the first first name who was interested, and and that's who got it. And I like doing it that way because it's you know it's less trouble to have to do a drawing and. <clears throat> so I have three more that I'd like to share this week to get these out of here, and um, then this will probably be it for a little while until I go through some more things. And um, the first one's Country Cross Stitch Favorites American School of Needlework. There's some really cute ones. There's a little alphabet. And then I like this sampler and this one. I think that's so cool. But there is a rooster and a hen on this one. So if you're interested in this one, just say country. The next one is an Alma Lynn 1993. Check her out. <laughs> oh, the hair. I'm living for the hair. Alma Lynn <coughs> Folk Art Santa Collection. Lots of Santas. And that's that one. Just say Alma Lynn. And the third one is I Love Wonderful Things. This one is Jeremiah Junction. Home sweet home. And then um, on the back. I remember these two. I actually have a small version of one of those. So, if you'd like this one, just say Wonderful Things. So, Country, Alma Lynn, Wonderful Things. And I'll be happy to share those with you. I got some stitchy kindness this week <clears throat> from my beautiful friend, Wendy. She sent me some goodies. <clears throat> Excuse me a second. It's still early here, and I'm still working on my coffee. I'm trying to get woke up. <clears throat> she sent me, look at this. <laughs> this happy, happy mail. I, I mean, who wouldn't want to open something wrapped in this? I mean, I mean just happy. It makes you smile. My friend sent me some goodies. And I, I thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Look. <laughs> Look at this project bag. Look at those sparkles. Oh, gosh. I saw this. I think she made Victoria one, and I was like, Wendy, honey, <laughs> got one of those. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> yeah, she, she said, absolutely. So, she made me one. And I... The goodies inside. Wait till you see the inside of the bag. But um, I wanted to show you what she tucked in here. Just full, full of goodies. She gave me. Looky here. Well, let's start with this. That's sweet. Follow your heart wherever it leads. Look. Beads. Beads. Jingle bells. Charms. More beads. Look at there. I like these teardrops. I think they would make beautiful zipper pulls, don't you? Look at that. Aren't they cool? 
Lots, lots, and lots, and lots of them. <laughs> Five of them. She sent these little sticky notes that go in my planner. She sent. Look, look at all this fabric. I love it. I love it. Look, look. can you see the sparkles? Nod your head. Can you see the sparkles? Sparkle, sparkle. But this is happening. I saw this and I was like, that is so happening. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's happening this week. That, that's, yeah, look. I mean, I'd show you my coffee, look. I mean, I guess, well, I won't spill it. This color. <laughs> ah, love it. Love it, love it. Look at this homespun. Mm-mm-mm. To, to, I just, I can't, I can't even. And then, wash your tape. <laughs> Cute. Can't wait to use it. I want to use it in my planner this week, but I can't use it until I show it. So I'll have to do that next week. And then let me show you this bag. Check this out. Look at this. Isn't that just Wendy? My sweet Wendy, thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm over the moon. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Wendy is let me talk about Wendy for a second, you guys. Wendy is the founder and the administrator of the Cross Stitch Barter Group. If you've not joined that yet, go over and join that. And um, we need to get some more barters going. I've done several barters, and I absolutely adore trading with people with for things. Um, so go over and join her group on Facebook. Um, I'll I'll link I'll link the group below, and go over and join that and uh, put some things out there or um, look at some things that are out there and make some trades. It's a lot of fun. There's you just pay postage, you know, or you trade. You don't sell things over there. Miss Wendy is also I found Wendy through um I can't no, I found her uh, Miss Wendy is um a, a celebrity on Facebook. I mean, um not Facebook, YouTube. She's a celebrity, y'all. She has um, been recording videos for uh, years. She does junk journals. She does travel journals that would that will absolutely knock your socks off. If if you're a jour a journaling person, if you like to journal, if you've ever thought about journaling, then go and and watch some of her videos and w look at what this girl can do with junk mail. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what she does with junk, but just paper that she, in her everyday life. It's something really, really special. And um, if you're thinking about journaling, well, let me just say this. I know um, this is kind of going to segue into um, my planners, but when my mama died, I found her diary. And I sat down with that diary one evening, and I read that, and it was like, it was like she was talking to me. I felt like she was in the room with me. And when you journal, you're leaving a piece of yourself for the people you love for later you know it's it's a way to leave a little part of yourself to comfort the people you love 
I don't care if it's what you had for dinner. I don't care if it's I mowed the grass today. That's a piece of your life that you're sharing with somebody in the future who will hang on every one of those words. Mark my words. So consider, consider that. Wendy is leaving such beautiful things for her babies. And I hope that I am too. It chokes me up a little bit. I'm sorry. But um, if you're considering journaling, uh, do it. It's, it's not just for you. It's for... Yeah. So, <clears throat> speaking of that, let me show you right quick my, my spreads for the week. Coming up. <coughs> Goodness gracious, I'm so much of a wearing my heart on my sleeve, kind of. This is next week in my happy planner. This is the planner that I journal in. Oh my gosh, I love this. You know, this month is all in pinks in this in this planner. It's um, my Live Simply, or Life is Lovely. Last My last one was Living. But anyway, this is Life is, the Life is Lovely um, happy planner. And this is how I decorated this next, this coming week with some washi and some stickers and I, I absolutely I mean this this flower is already in here so I just ran with that and this month has been pink and I have really really loved you know doing pink spreads so that's just a little something that you can do um, and I just journal and then you know if you if you watch um, there are lots of happy planner, well, Erin Condren, there's lots of different brands of planners. And each brand of planner has uh, people who do videos. And you can go and watch them and get, get ideas. And um, this is something that I've done for years, and I, I like this. It's um, I just take an, an extra page and fold it and then put it in there. And then I use it for, like, a weekly meal plan. And then I have a cleaning schedule, and then I have room for my Etsy, um, and then he who seeks beauty will find it, and I love that. It's a, my self-care section. You know, I mean, I put down what I'd like to, a bubble bath, or, you know, what I want to do for myself, take a walk, or... Um, read something or you know whatever I want to do to take care of me for that week and I check it off if I if I've met that met that what I wanted to do and then I have my goals down here for the week and then I have um, my floss tube information any orders that I place and then I have a to-do list and then I have uh, to buy and then if I need to go somewhere so I haven't I, I left this blank for next I, I would have already had it filled out but I wanted to show it to you so this is kind of my life my week you know this is my planner part <laughs> that and it's 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 small compared to the the spread because I don't plan in my planner I plan on this and uh it's interesting to see how many of these things come to fruition every week. Not too many. And then, um, these are some of the sticker books. I think I found these in the dollar spot at Target. And, I mean, seriously, all these stickers, I think, I think that's where I got them. But stickers are everywhere, you know. I mean, stickers are just everywhere. And then, my favorite stickers are, of course, the Happy Planner ones. And, and I love these big books. There's there's several new ones out now that I, I have to have. But these big books, this one's quotes. I mean, 427 stickers. But they're beautiful. They're they're just, you know, I mean, they're slip-throughs. I mean, look at the gold. They're, they're slip-throughs on um, other people's videos if you want to see these, you know, what's inside. But just... You know, just little bits of happy. I've you, you can tell I've used quite a few of them. 
out of this book. I've got I've got several of these books, um, and then they also come in these little ones that are only four ninety nine, and these are nineteen ninety nine. But with your coupons, you know, you don't ever pay that, and they go on sale all the time. But um, there's there's gold, and and there's actually rose gold, you know, and just. These are little motivational snippets that you can just look at that make you happy. It's all about happy, you know, one day at a time. Look at there. You totally rock. Get it done. Just, you know. Look. Leap and the net will appear. You know? And then I uh, like these. These are, um, I think I got this one at Walmart. It's a uh, scrap of paper, little pieces of paper. And um, these are inexpensive. And what I do with these, um, I'll show you. I cut them to fit the blocks. I used some in this spread. See? I cut them to fit the blocks, and then most of the time I put a sticker on top of them. You know, kind of highlight that sticker. What's that one say? Don't quit your daydream. <laughs> you know, positive vibes. And then make the time. Just, you know. Little bits of happy. So that's some things that you can do with your planner. The washi tape, um, you can get washi tape at the Dollar Dollar Tree. They have washi tape at the Dollar Tree. They have stickers at the Dollar Tree. So you don't have to invest a whole lot of money if you don't want to. And then this is my spread for next week. And my stitching planner. <laughs> you know, but get it. <laughs> and this I have um set goals in my crossage planner and last week I met my goals. Hem your hem your blessings with thankfulness so they don't unravel. But I, I set I set my goals. And then I just check them off. And I'm happy to say, <laughs> last week, I met my goals. <laughs> so, there's my planners. I won't be that far in depth from now on, but, uh, you know, my, I just wanted to share that with you. And um, I made some bags. And I wanted to tell you that this one and this one are still available from last week. I didn't put them in Etsy. I, I saw Squirrel. I, I got distracted. And I, did, I didn't even list them. But I, I am going to be listing these um, this coming week. So if, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put these out there. But these two are still available from last week. <clears throat> this, the, and I made three, three new ones for this week. I have a, are you ready for some football? I'm a big football fan. Washington Redskins. Don't hold that against me. I'm a big Redskins fan. Been a Redskins fan for years and years. And uh, the, uh, the preseason starts next week. Yeah. 25th, I think. They go to training camp 25th. It's exciting. But this pool, look, I did this. So you can put a sticker for your team on there. I thought that would be... A neat idea to leave, you know, to have that on there so that you can personalize it with your team. I know, you, you know, there are girls who like football too. There's nothing better to me than sitting down on a Sunday afternoon with some football in my stitching. It's that's heaven on earth to me. I love football. I love watching football. Another one I made is this cherry one. It's got a little. 
um, ladybug charm and bead on it. Cherries. And the last one is this pretty blue. I love this one. There's the pull on that one. And these will be available um, probably I'll leave uh, maybe uh, till Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning because I'm going to be gone tomorrow. Tuesday morning I'll stick them out there on Etsy. So if you want one um, like I said, I'm gonna, um, you know, I want to offer them to you all first. They're twenty-five dollars USA only, please. My post office is not capable of sending international mail. I've already been down that road, and it's it's hysterical. They they don't know how to do it. I'm not kidding you. I I tried to send a chart to Canada, and she said the shipping was going to be over ten dollars for for a chart to Canada. Ten dollars. You're doing something wrong. You're not doing it right. But so I'm not even going to try to. So it has to be USA only, and um, twenty-five dollars includes the shipping and the beaded zipper pull. And I, I can tell you, you know, that might sound like a lot of money, but I mean, if you think about it, the you know, the shipping alone, and then you've got. Um, PayPal fees and then Etsy fees if you buy it through Etsy. You've got um, you know the, the the cost of the fabric, the thread, the vinyl, the um, interfacing, and then an hour and a half of my life. And you know I'm sure others can spin them out faster than that, but it takes me an hour and a half from cutting to finishing it. And then the time picking out the beads, the beads, the little clasp to hold it, the charm. You know, if you deduct all of that, I mean, I, I'll be lucky if I'm left with 10 or $11 for an hour and a half of my time. So I'm not making a killing on these bags. It sounds like a lot of money, but it's a, a handmade item that takes time to make. And they're, I'm not making a killing on them. I'm really, uh, you know, n nobody who's selling these bags are making a killing. And just keep that in mind, you know, because they're, they're time consuming and, and you know, I'm not, I love making them. I do. Um, but I don't like cutting them out, but I like making them. So that's my bags for the week. That's all I have for you. Um, and I have some footage that I think you'll enjoy in my slideshow. So, um, if you've got the time, be sure and, and check that out. It's something that's really beautiful that I wanted to share with you. So, um, until next week, um, happy stitching.